And another thing that I want to take a second to to bitch about is um, this, this is something that I don't know if this has really come through a lot in the podcast episodes, but Emily and I have discussed this heavily in our DMs. Um, if the race director, race stewards are not going to do anything about the maximum lap time in practices and specifically in qualifying, then let's stop fucking bringing it up. Um, you know, it's, it's th- this, it, 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 it is, it is, it is unnecessary because and and for you know the the race stewards race director they set a very bad precedence at Monza because um which two cars breached the maximum lap time at Monza oh, oh Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari and the Tifosi would have rioted if they had lost their positions after that qualifying session so therefore they did not have a leg to stand on precedence wise for any other race in the 2023 season. So then starting off 2024 with, oh, you know, George Russell has been referred to the stewards because of a minimum lap time violation that he didn't get penalized for anyway. Stop bringing it up unless you're going to start penalizing drivers for breaching the, the maximum lap time. Like what, what do they have to do for it to be warranted as a, a breach? Because obviously, you know, if there's traffic or someone in the way, then, the, uh, then, you know, that's, that's why they're letting these go, but like they're letting everything go. So there's, yeah, like, there's, there's no threshold for it. No. And the stopping in the pit lane too, like how many radio calls did we hear about, they're not supposed to oh stop my God. in the pit lane. Why are they in the pit lane? It's taking so long in the pit lane. Can we pass them? We even saw some people like go in the middle lane of the pit to get out at the pit exit because people were going so slow or just stopping. So if they're not going to do anything about it or or say anything, like it just, I don't know, it's annoying. And we can hear it on the telecast from the presenters constantly. So. Yeah, and and that that's that's one that like Max almost got dinged for or did get dinged for at one point last season, to, you know, toward the end that, you know, they're not like I know why they're doing it. They're going really slowly so that they can have more space so they come out on the track with less traffic um so they can, you know, have a better lap. I get it, but if if you're not allowed to stop or go slowly in the, you know, at the pit exit, then that's where you have to start issuing the fines and the penalties. Yeah. Exactly. 100% agree. Yeah. Not my, not, not, not Formula One's best moment of the weekend. I'll, I'll give them that. And Catherine, I hate to say it, but I think this is going to be a theme for the season. So. Yeah, it's going to be a theme. I'm not thrilled. Uh, it's okay. Your maximum time, uh, lap time is my track limits. So. Yes. <laughs> I'm so over track limits. Like, it seems like they're not going to call track limits on anybody, even though everyone's going off constantly and everyone is saying everyone's going off constantly. People are we love a good tattletale. And then nothing else happens. And it's like, okay, why do we have track limits if we're not going to enforce it? Yeah. So, there we go. <laughs> and we can step off our soapbox now and move on. <laughs> <laughs> 